it's Penny here at Cabs Buckles. Here to do my whip along Sunday. It is actually about just gone 10 on Saturday night. I've got the grandbabies up here. This is the section I'm going to do today. <gasps> I've got one little AB to put in there. Um, yeah, grandbabies are up until tomorrow, maybe Monday. So, I thought while they're asleep, I'll get the whip ready for tomorrow. Yeah, so... That is the plan. Um, it's been an eventful week. A good eventful. I've just spilled my drills everywhere. This is what I mean. <laughs> it's been a very eventful week. I have gained lots of new subscribers. So thank you, each and every one of you. It means a tremendous amount. Now I'm going to try and pick up these drills because it was loads that I dropped, not just a few, half the pot. Um, let's get the officials up because I do have quite a few comments to go through. Hopefully, I'll get through all of them. Um, if you hear a little mouse talking, it could be one of the grandkids got up. They are in bed, I'm not sure if they're sleeping. But I wanted to get this video done because I don't want to. Tomorrow, I think, if my daughter comes up to collect them tomorrow, I will be doing a dinner. A Sunday dinner so I may not have time to record so I thought get it done now and also I want to do some diamond painting because I haven't I've done some I've done a bit of work on this one I've done a bit of work on the Alice in the White Rabbit house um when I've got up and I haven't been able to sleep. I haven't done any today. I haven't done any yesterday. And I feel like I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. And that's not even an exaggeration. So. What I shall do. Is I think I've got most of them. The rest. There are some that's fallen in my storage. But. They can stay there. If I need them, I'll get them out. If not, I'll do it at the end. Right, I'm using my zesty tray. My zesty pen with the metal tip that end. And it has got a double-sided tape in it. And it's got my little plastic straightener that the lovely Sam gave me because I lost mine. And yeah, like I said, lots of... Um, Lots of inquiries, if you haven't seen, uh, a couple of days ago I posted um, new products that I'm going to be uh, selling. Um, I haven't got a lot of space to work in today because I've got stuff absolutely everywhere. Because I don't do things by half. And what I've done this week is I've had, I've launched the new products of which I've already sold a couple of sets um, and I'm preparing a set ready to be posted off. Um, I've also revamped my storage and put away 445,000 drills. And yes, you heard that right. I bought from Amazon 445 colours. And there's a thousand of each drill. So basically, every, <laughs> new on every single colour. 
and they're all put away now. I've also started preparing for my heaven and earth. Today's or yesterday's video, which was the um, getting my labels put onto the storage. So I've actually been really, really busy. <laughs> I haven't stopped. And the kids have been amazing because they've kind of, they've helped me a little bit. And they've also left me alone to do some when they can't help. So, yeah. So I've got quite a bit done this week. I've taken on loads this week. Um, I wasn't going to have the grandchildren, but I ended up having them, which I don't mind. I literally love having them up. It's hard work, as in I've, um, I'm not used to little kids. I'm not, like, I'm used to it being me and Anna Lee, where she can pretty much crack on with whatever she's doing and she either sits in here with me while I'm videoing as you all know she always says hello um or she's off doing whatever she's doing so yeah but it's a bit harder trying to keep the seven and a soon to be nine year old entertained it's not so easy. I'm hoping that I'm still in shot. Let me just check. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but it's it's been nice. We went out to the park today or yesterday by the time you see this, but it was very busy. Um, Sort of came home. I did a video. They had um, did them some dinner and sat and watched silly YouTube videos whilst I was getting some index cards sorted. Um, what I am going to do is in the description of this, I am going to, I will link the video to, um, to this one in the description. Or if I don't, because I'm all new at this, I'm just learning how to do everything. If I can't manage to get it linked... What I'll do is I'll put my email address on because if you live overseas, which is seems to be a lot of people do, then I've got things listed on eBay, the new index cards. I've got the spare drills. Um, the spare drill booklets are on there. I will link the other, I'll try and link the other video, um, but I will also put my email because if you, e I don't know what the eBay are bringing up as costing for the shipping. Um, I can, I think £16 Royal Mail because it's hefty. Um I'll have to have a look at what the booklets cost, but I know that the index cards are coming up about £16, which is fairly expensive in regards to they're only £25, and that is economy shipping, and it is um, with the Royal Mail, but it can take, it's saying, I can't even remember, but something like 30, 20 to 30 working days to get to you. 
if I do it so it gets to you quicker, which is, I think, five, seven to nine days or five to seven days. It's actually £25 to post it. So, I am going to look into other ways of doing postage. So, it can go to the States. And it's not so expensive. Um, I looked at Hermes. Every, 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 however they pronounce it. They seem to have taken over Hermes. Um, and that's pretty... That's that's about twenty five pound. You get it quicker. It's tracked, but it is twenty five pound. Um, so yeah, I am still looking into other options. But if you email me, if you're in the UK, not a problem. Go on to the video where it says the launch of the new products. That's what it's called. I will try and link it, but. There's no guarantee. Um, because in that video, there are links to eBay. Oh, sorry for hitting the camera there. Um, but if not, any questions, either put a comment in or just send me an email. My email address will be there to make it easier for you guys. Um, and I will try to answer as soon as I can. Obviously, if you are overseas, I may be in bed sleeping. I need to adjust this easel because it seems to have a little bit of a wobble. So, let's see. That's a bit better. Am I still in shot? Am I still in shot? Maybe bring it forward a bit. There we go. And over to here. Yeah. Still got a bit of a wobble. I don't know if I've made it worse or made it better, to be honest. Um. So, yeah. Just email me. Like I said, the eBay links, which are on that video... That if you're in the UK, are fine because the postage isn't too bad. It's only if you're overseas. Um, I am going to get Etsy set up. Um, Sam at Kitten at Kitten has kindly offered to help me set it all up. But she's going away for a couple of weeks. I think she goes away Monday. So she goes away for a couple of weeks and when she gets back, she said she'll help me set it up. She's also, because she's such a lovely lady is our son, she's also going to help me set it because I'm having nightmares with having comments turned on. I'm having to go in to, I've got it in my, when I'm loading it, the video, I, it says allow all comments. But then when I actually go to, when it actually loads, it says disable all comments. So I have to go back in and edit it to allow the comments. So all of that is going to work. Please bear with me. I know I'm not a professional. Let's be honest. I'm far from a professional. I do this because it makes me happy. I'm so, so chuffed with the way you guys have supported me. I've just seen another blooming fly. The way you guys have supported me, the way that you, just the words of encouragement, the advice, um, it overwhelms me, seriously. I never, I never thought I'd get 20 of you, 20 subscribers, and I've now got, I think it's 58. It may be 57. But anyway, that is... I can't believe that literally you guys like watching me. I'm extremely proud and extremely grateful for everything. So, yeah. 
But what I am going to do is I'm going to stop rambling on now. And I'm going to get to the comments because I want to get through as many as I can. Hopefully answer some questions because there are some questions on there in regards to the new products. So I totally didn't even have a drill on my pen then. I did have and I can't find it. There's another clip somewhere. I don't know if it actually fits on here. No, it doesn't. So we have to go from there. Right, first question is, and if I do, I have answered some, but if I do um, miss your comment, or if I, for whatever reason, please let me know. Um, diamond painting effect with Corrie this is six days ago and that was on the kitten up the forest snowman this one I'm working on and she said she subbed kitten up kitten sent me to you oh thank you so much um and I've got a few subscribers come over from Sam she's so supportive um Gina Redovic I think that's how you say it. I apologise now. Um, sent lots of emojis. Absolutely love it. It's, I presume she must be in Australia because there's a kangaroo and a koala. But thank you, Gina. Then we've got Pencil Surprises. Lovely lady. Worth checking out her channel. Um, she says... And this was up using up the spare round drills. She says, great idea, especially if your drawers are older, but still have plenty of life. Thanks for sharing. But this is what I thought. I thought, like, they're fine. They're usable. And just make them a bit prettier. Although I haven't done any more to them because I've been so manic. But thank you for commenting and then we've got um kitten up kitten our lovely sam who um she commented on the whip along last sunday and i don't remember what i said but i must have said something because she said you are such a sweetie so pleased to have met you and made a friend loved having you over today because I went over, I don't remember what day, because I'm kind of lost in days. Um, as soon as I get from back from holiday, we need a DP afternoon. You're damn right we do, Sam. I couldn't think of anything better to do. Have a good old DP afternoon. Um, either at yours or at mine. I'm very up for that. You just let me know where and when and i'll be there because couldn't think of anything better to do than to be sitting chatting just like i do when i do my whip alongs with sam because i tell you what when we get together we talk i don't even remember half the things we talk about but we don't stop chatting literally we talk and talk and talk so you're damn right and then, she's got, these are amazing. I love it all, but especially the cards. Now, that was on the unboxing, the launch of the new products. Now, Sam has got a set of the laminated cards. And I also did her um, a spare drill booklet. Um, now, she, she sort of knew what was happening and what I was planning to do. So she got the index cards and I did do her a book, like I said. She's, um, she loved them when I took them over to her. She was the first person to see them outside of my house. And you know, like sometimes I love them and so, but sometimes when somebody else 
likes them it kind of boosts your confidence a bit and she has helped me out so much she did do the launching of them the other day um i think it was the day after i did my launch which was thursday i did mine so she did hers on the friday um and wow i've had she i've had so much response so thank you sam i've had so many new subscription subscribers um i've had a couple of orders so thank you so much sam i, I can't thank that lady enough because she literally helps me so much um and support you know sometimes it's just about supporting each other and I've got some amazing subscribers that offer so much support. They offer me lots of encouragement, lots of advice, because I'm all up for... I have no problem if somebody wants to give me some constructive criticism. If you see me doing something and it's all cockeyed or it's all... Or if you, even just little things like if you see the video and <laughs> comments are disabled, please just give me a shout. Because sometimes, like sometimes I'll load a video and then I go off and I do something and I forget to look at it when it's loaded to check the comments. Check that comments are actually sort of turned on. And sometimes it just takes a little somebody to give me a kick up the bum to check it. Because I do have lots of other stuff to do. Because the other thing that I haven't said is in amongst doing all this new storage, sorting it all out, on, I think it was Tuesday, possibly Wednesday, I've had, a, well, I've had a niggly pain in my arm, my elbow, my left elbow, for a little bit. Um, and I woke up in the morning, I'd driven down. Oh, get, Sam also put, let me change the subject, fabulous value. Thank you, Sam. Um... It's been a couple of weeks I've had sort of niggly pains and I woke up and I think it was the day after I'd been down to see Sam and I think it was the fact that I'd didn't been sort of driven and it's, it's only a half hour drive there and half hour drive back but I think it aggravated my arm so I woke up Friday morning or whatever morning it was it wasn't Friday morning in so much pain now, I do suffer with lack of blood flow because I suffer with blood clots and it affects my left arm. So I do get pain in my arm anyway because of the fact that I've got muscle wasted and blah, blah. Anyway, you don't need to want to hear about all the fluff. Um, I ended up going to the hospital because I was in so much pain. I have some heavy painkillers, but they weren't touching this pain. I've been up all night. Um, anyway, it turns out I've developed tendonitis. But where it's been going on for a few weeks, it's actually apparently called tendinosis because it's ongoing. They said the worst place you can get it is your elbow. So obviously, because it's me, that's where mine is. Um, so basically, they said it could take up to six months. Now, 
I'm seeing my consultant um, on the 31st, I think. And because I've spoken to him since. And I, I'm going to have to have steroid injections into my elbow. Which I'm not looking forward to. But I have them in my shoulder for my arm. And after the first few days, they're bloody amazing. The pain just eases so much. Anyway, so that was a little bit about what went on. But anyway, thank you, Sam. Now, Julie, better known as Crochet and Cow Lloyd, she said, has sent me an email. That was on the launch of new products. Now, Julie is one of the ones that has actually ordered a set. So thank you so, so much, Julie. I have, this being Saturday night, I have today, when the kids first went to bed, finished your set so they will be sent out on monday and thank you ever so much for ordering them because i'm not making these things so that i can become rich and famous although that would be nice i all my i live on a budget you know i have my own business doing crocheting funnily enough um, but since COVID hit, my business has gone a bit down the toilet and it's literally, it is slowly building back up again, but it's no way near at the levels that it was before COVID, um, due to a few reasons the whole covid thing and not being able to do shows did a lot because i used to do shows every week and also the fact that after contracting covid myself um and being diagnosed with long covid my health isn't up to doing all these events anyway so yes every little thing that's ordered helps me out tremendously so thank you ever so much um, Julie. Then we've got on the same launch of new products, which I think a lot of the thing, a lot of the um, what you call it, a lot of the comments on. I've got diamond painting effect with Corey. She says, "I love these things. The dividers are genius. Do you ship to to US?" Now, I have already replied, and I've already kind of answered this question already, but I will say it again. I did try to set up my Etsy shop so I could sort out postage, and it'll be easier for people to order from there. But I got kind of stuck on sorting out the postage on there. So I spoke to the lovely Sam. And after I spoke to her, because I do have an eBay account um, where I sell other bits and pieces, some of the buntings and stuff that I do, um, because I do their global shipping, which basically means I don't have to work out the shipping. They work it out. I have no control on what they charge. But it means that... And I do send my buntings and everything all over the world. But they are on a, they're a lot smaller. They don't weigh much. They can go as a large letter, blah, blah. Um, and I was trying to sort it out, but it just, I ended up so stressed with it. And then speaking to Sam, I thought, right, I'll set it up on eBay. And then when she comes back from holiday, we'll sort out the Etsy. And hopefully the postage won't be so high. How do you do One. There. so yeah so i did reply um but thank you ever so much for your for leaving your comments i'm giving you some love then we've got shelly pixie um who's a new subscriber so welcome shelly um she's just put and this is on last week's whoop along 
She says, hi, love your channel. Just came across it. I love DAC too. Just done corpse wide. Oh, that's a gorgeous painting. Um, turned out beautiful, but also diamond art studio are brilliant. And the one with the diamond art is brilliant as well. I'm actually looking. I'm on a no buy because I did. I actually got one of my unicorns the other day and I shouldn't have done because I was on a no buy. But I'm really on a no buy. <laughs> Um, but I do want to try out, especially Diamond Art Studio, because they're a UK based. And I do like to support UK based shops. But I love to, I love, absolutely love Diamond Art Club. Um, this is actually only my third Diamond Art Club. This one is the old drills. It's an older kit. The old drills, the old canvas, but it's still amazing, you know. I'm um up until getting the Diamond Art Club, I'm at AliExpress, eBay, Amazon kind of girl, because I didn't have the budget. And then I think it was for Mother's Day, my older children got me Sneaky Cat. And I'll be honest, I've become a little bit of a snob, but I don't have, <laughs> I do not have the funds to only use Diamond Art Club. But yes, I'll definitely look at the one with the Diamond Art because I've heard about that one. I've heard the name. Um, Diamond Art Studio, I'm definitely going to be looking at. So thank you, Shelley, and welcome to the madness. Then we've got Gina Radovic again, who says... Um, on the unboxing, these products are amazing. I need them in my life. Of course we do. We need amazing products. We need the best to do our diamond painting. And I am going to blow my own trumpet. I literally think they're bloody amazing. I am very proud of how they turned out. Um... The, the index cards, I literally was, um, no, I'm just looking at my dog, she was doing something on the laptop, I was just making sure she didn't scroll up because I need to see what I'm doing. Um, and then I thought, oh, you know what, if I laminate them, then they're going to last forever. Yes, people may think... £25 for the laminated ones is a lot of money to pay out. But this is how I justify it. Because I tell you something, if I hadn't thought about it, I would buy them. I'll be honest with you. Even if it meant that I had to sort of put a bit away each week to get them. And the reason being is because although they're £25... Once you've got them, oh, my daughter just waved her blanket behind me and it was nice on my back. Um, and then she stopped because she's actually doing diamond painting in the other room. Um, yeah, once you've got them, you've got them, you know. Um, it's just like with the storage, once you've got it, you've got it. It's an expense that you've paid and unless you're like Sam. And addicted to buying strawberry, strawberries, strawberries, <laughs> addicted to buying storage. Once you've got it, you've got it. So, yes, we do need them. And as as always, nearly every video, she leaves some gorgeous emojis. So, send him my love, Gina. Hope you're well. Um. And then we've got Kitten Up Kitten again, who um, says, finally, fin she was watching the kitten down of the Lamy corn. And she said, finally finished watching this one while preparing orders to go out. It turned out great. It did, you know, Sam. I actually was a bit, I was a little bit um, sceptical about it because it's a partial. Um, 
you can definitely tell it's the old drills and not the new drills. But it actually came out really cute. And my daughter, my, my daughter, my granddaughter, who's up at the moment, who is four, she actually got to see it in person and she absolutely loves it. Although she's not taking it home with her because I said I'd get it framed for her. So we need to sort that out. But yeah, she loved it. I liked how it came out. And like I said, even with the old drills, like this one is that I'm doing now, and the old canvas, it's still amazing quality. You can definitely tell the difference. I think my sneaky cat was definitely the new drills. But I, you do tend to get a little bit of gapping in these old ones. Um, I've had a little bit of trash. But to be honest, the, I'll be honest with you, the trash that I'm tending to get, especially in this painting, has been ABs. So I'm hoping that there's plenty, that they've given plenty in here. Because I bought this off a D-stash site. So I can't contact DAC for more. So moving on, Kimberly Saunders. I'm a new, and this was on the launch of the new products. I'm a new subscriber to your channel. I've seen these just a few minutes ago on Kitten Up Kitten channel. Another thumbs up for Sam. I see you only have your eBay links in the description box and the postage is more than the product. What's your Etsy name? It's a great idea. Right. I have replied to her. So I wasn't sure where she was from. Um, she then sent me an email. So I was able to sort out prices. I cannot see what eBay charge for the international okay i can't see that like i said i'm part of the global shipping on ebay which and i send lots of my buntings and stuff overboard overseas um europe the states i think i've sent a few to australia and canada and stuff now so i don't know what they charge like I said, I've been looking into it. I've spent a fair bit of time this weekend, this weekend, today, looking into it because that's what kind of spurred me to look. So thank you to Kimberly for letting me know. Um, and yeah, all I can do is, like I said, I've looked at some prices for the States. And that's all I can do at the minute until I sort Etsy out and get that sorted. But like I said, Sam's going to come over and help me do it. And that's a good chance for us to have a chinwag as well. And um, so she, I'm sure she goes away Monday. And she's away for a couple of weeks. So when she gets back, Sam, you need to get your butt over here. <laughs> no, she kindly, kindly offered to do that anyway. Um, and to sort bits out. She is a lovely lady. So, yeah, either email me and I'll try and sort, sort, sort it out. Or if you can wait a couple of weeks and I'll, I'll go from there. But thank you, Kimberly, because you spurred me to crack on with that. Then I got a message on my revamping the spare drill storage from Shelley, just saying, love the box, hon. Wow, I love it too. Um, a, friend, a friend of mine made them. He does make them to sell. Um, I'm not sure. He He's looking, he charges his hand crafter. They're all handcrafted from reclaimed wood. I have two of those wooden boxes. And I now need a third one. Because I finished putting all those away. And they don't fit. I now have... What's my channel in? <laughs> I now have 
Now, bearing in mind the only drills that are in there are, um, so I just missed an M, are the, the thousand of each colour, which at some point this week, maybe Monday, maybe even later on Sunday, I'm going to start kitting up for my heaven and earth. I have done the storage ready. Um, and so it might go down a considerable bit, but at the moment I literally have, and it's just these hunt a thousand of each colour, I literally have two wooden boxes full up and I have a photo box full up. And I don't particularly want that much because it just means I'm going to have to get another box, another wooden one. And they are gorgeous and, and they've still got that smell of the fresh wood, which I absolutely love. So, yeah, I love them too, Shelley. But thank you for your comment. And what's the next one? Gina. And she was watching me um do the revamping and she says, love sorting of the drills. You could do your videos part one and part two, etc. So everyone can see your brilliant products. They're amazing. So happy that your subscribers are so slowly growing. I was subscriber number 44. Oh, thank you, Gina. To be honest, I have finished the revamp. Um, but you will still see <laughs> lots of my storage. Um, and the reason I did that is because I just needed it done. My phone's been playing up where my phone will only allow me to record so much. However... What I'm going to do, because I've been fiddling with the phone, what I'm actually going to do is when I do the kitten up ready for my heaven and earth, I'm going to do it in a few parts. I'm not sure how many parts because there's 239 colours. I'm going to do the last diamond. I'm what? This. On the forest. Mm -hmm. Um. She does a last diamond on every painting I do. Um, so, yeah. So, I will be... It will be... Now, I let me know, because I'm not sure as of yet whether I'll do... The for, for however many videos it, it takes, which I reckon it's going to be minimum of three, maybe two. Depends how I get along. I don't. Um, I don't know whether you guys want me to do one after the other, so three days running, or whether you would like them spread out a bit so you don't get bored. Let me know what you think, because I don't mind either way. Because the reason I'm saying that is because I will sit and actually do the recordings all together. I haven't got the willpower because I absolutely love kitting up. I love kitting up, love kitting down. So what I will do is I will most probably record it all the same day. Or over two days, depending how long it takes. I am one of these people that will carry on till late at night because I like it finished. I don't like to go to bed halfway through a job. That's just me. So, yeah, let us know how you want to see it. Um, or if you don't want to see it at all. If it's not something that interests you, I love a good kitten. Up or kitting down video me. Um, I could watch them all day. 
But yeah, it's just really to say, like, so, I don't know, completely. Thank you, Gina. Um, you were number 44, that was 19 hours ago, and I'm now on 58. So, 19 hours ago, sorry. And then she's left more emojis, sending you lots of love on my kitten up. I think she's been catching up on my videos. Um, Betsy, McCloyd, McCloy, McCloy, sorry, I apologise already. With the, I'm so ex on the unboxing of the drills. She said, I love it. I got both the rounds and the squares at different times. And the excitement was there each time. I made the mistake the first time to only order the 200 piece packages. I can't wait to see what you do with them. Love you, Penny. You know what? I love them. I literally felt like I was six and somebody had just bought me a new Barbie or something. Because I absolutely, when I got them, I literally had to do the video straight away because I could not. I literally, I got back because it was the day I'd been seeing, I'd been to see Sam. And I got back. It was, I don't even know what time it was when I got back. I think it was gone six because we'd stopped and got food on the way home. Um, and I came in and I literally jumped on to YouTube because I didn't want to wait. I jumped, well, I jumped onto video in it. But yeah, I loved it too, Betsy. And to get, I don't know if I'm going to get the rounds. My daughter wants me to get the rounds because she uses lots of rounds. But I use mainly squares. So thank you so much. Um, and then Gina has left her emojis again on the kitten up with special guests. So hi, Gina. Um, then we've got. Where are we going? Only Merrin, I think that's, yeah, Only Merrin, I think she's a new um, commenter as well. So, hi, I don't know your real name, unless your name's Merrin. She says, I love your box and your card system. Thank you so much. Um, they are available. One of my products. And then I've just got F, Gina, thank you. I love, love, love you put in all of your um, comments, all of your emojis, because it just means that I know when people leave comments, um, leave comments, leave emojis, it means I know what kind of videos people are liking. You know, it helps me to give you guys what you want. Um then we've got Maria Casa on the Kitten Up My Favourite Beverage. She says, hello, I'm new to your channel. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the madness. Maria, she said, it was through Sam of Kitten Up Kitty that I found your channel. Love to follow her channel as well. Thanks for sharing these videos. Enjoy your day. Oh, thank you, my darling. Um... Thank you for, I love watching Sam at Kitten Up Kitten. She's amazing. Then I got a, mess, a comment from Jeanette Kvingler. I don't, I'm not even going to try and, I apologise Jeanette now. Um, we are many who would love to see the whole organising. Sorry, darlings, but I did do it off camera because I had so much other stuff to do. Um, where can I find the prices? I think she means the prices with shipping. I'm sure your channel will go quick and your shop too. Thank you, my darling. I have sent, I have replied asking you for the, to um, send me an email. Because if you send me an email, then I can email you with 
full prices for stuff. Um, yeah, so if you email me, then I can get back to you and let you know everything. Um, and I think that may be it. Or is there more? Let's have a look. It's going to be a long old thing today. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's it. There was. Oh. I'm sure that there was a couple more because there was a couple of comments put on um, one of the videos today I can't, oh, maybe there was a, I thought there was, oh well, we can do them in the next, I don't want to bore you with just listening to me, or not listening to me rambling to myself, um, yeah, there's loads in the pipeline guys, I intend to be very busy over the next week or so, I am going to start kitting up my heaven and earth design. If you haven't seen the video, it came up. It was put up Saturday of me showing how I do my labels. Um, now, one thing about me is I don't want to do time lapse. Because I think to myself, and I think this is one of the, um, whatchamacallit, one of the comments that's on there, but it's not letting me see it on the laptop for some reason. Um, I don't want to do time lapse. The reason I don't want to do time lapse is I th figure there are some people that like to watch it all, like myself. Um, if you, if I see a video that's a kitten up video and it says that it's two hours long, I'm watching it. I love the long videos. And it may be that I'm not particularly watching all of it, but I'm listening because I tend to watch them whilst I'm doing diamond painting myself. So, yeah, I love a kitten up video. So, like I said just now, I'm going to do it in a few bits. If people don't want to watch it, then they don't watch it. If they want to watch it, then it's there. It'll just be little old me sitting at my um, kitchen table, chatting a load of rubbish most probably, rambling on as my, um, my kids like to tell me I do. So it's not just you lot that hear me, it's my kids as well. So, yeah, I am going to, like I said, I'll make it into a couple of videos. I am going to attempt to put a playlist together which will contain everything to do with my heaven and earth. Um, yes, if you've seen the video already from Saturday, you would see... That I've gone big. Um, it's 239 colours. And there is a reason for that. Like I explained in the video. I think the more colours. The less of each colour you need. Because it's the same. It's the same size as the normal pattern. It's just max colour. Um. I haven't got the pattern yet. I should be getting that at some point this week. This week coming. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday. 
Um, the whole reason that I've thought of things to to make and to sell that that I find useful because I didn't think about selling that index cards. But then, and so many people commented about them, the fact that they're tabbed, so it makes it easier to see when you're looking for a colour. But the reason I'm doing it is because I want to be able to buy more stuff. <laughs> Pure selfish reasons. I do work in a budget, on a budget, so if I can sell a few little bits then I can then go on and buy a few more bits. Like, I need more storage. And I think every diamond painter says that. I need more paintings. I've actually, like, I've got enough paintings, I reckon. <laughs> to see me for a little bit, but isn't it like, like I've got to admit, there's uh, there's one that was in this week's new releases. I want to try out a couple of different companies, um, like the Diamond Art Studio, because it's a UK based company. Um, I want to be able to sort of just get like if i try new things like try, try some of the other budget companies recently did a painting if you look back in the videos it's the gray vase i i got it as a mystery pack from rebecca over at admiral zest um but the quality was amazing i don't know where it's from I think it's a fan sales. And in which case, if the quality is that good, then I will buy from fan sales. I've heard a few people say that the quality is quite good from there. So I am more than happy. I'm, it's not that I am only want to buy D Diamond Art Club because they're sort of a well-known name and what have you, I buy, I like it because the quality is good. I need to just move my clip a bit, guys. The quality is amazing. That's why I like Diamond Dark Club. It's not because, oh, well, everybody, I've just completely messed up with this clip. It's not because everybody loves Diamond Dark Club, although I think most people do. Um, it's because the quality. So if I can get a budget company, or find a budget company that does, yes, just checking I was still in sight, um, that does good quality, then I'll go for it. You know, I want to try fan sounds. I want to try some of the others and not just specifically it's just about quality like my storage a lot of it is from Amazon's so it's cheap and cheerful it's um I've got a fair bit of storage from AliExpress so yeah and there are bits that I would like to get. Um, I saw a video that went up today, um, Kitten Up Kitten's video of, she's basically designed her own storage. And it's amazing because you can adapt it. Like, I love Elizabeth Ward's storage. The reason I love it, because you have different size pots, so that you can use the bigger pots for the bigger quantities. Like, you know, or... 
Um, so, yeah, and then the pots you can sort of rearrange into what order. I've got two sets of Elizabeth Ward, but how that because of that's that exact they're not they're Elizabeth Ward knockoffs. Let me just get that in there. Um, but what Sam has done is she sourced her own boxes. She sourced box to keep them all in, and she's literally she can adapt it to do anything she wants. Any painting, any kind of, like, where she's got a fair few different sizes of, of little boxes, of little tubs. And it looks amazing. It absolutely looks amazing. So I'd like to do things like that, you know. And in order to do that, I needed to find a bit more of an extra income. So if I can make... A few bits like I'm not making huge money on these things, you know. It takes time to do them. At the moment, which is a bit of a godsend, <laughs> but it's not because I'm in pain. But this flare up with tendonitis or tendinosis, um, it's meant I can't do any of my crocheting and sewing work. I can do diamond painting because as long as I'm resting my left arm, it's not causing me pain and it's not, it's not, um, I'm like, cause it, like it at the moment, cause it's flared up, it's really painful to move my left arm. I can't, can't drive. Doctor said I can't drive as well because um, obviously I don't have full range of my left arm. So diamond painting is suiting me to the ground right now. So in order to do earn a little bit of extra money, I thought come up with these few things. The spare drill booklet um, was just I keep a record of all my spares. And I don't know how many other people do, but I do. Um, and I just thought it was a, I kept a record and it was in a big A4. Um, uh, A4 pad, a pucker pad, and the pages just ripped out. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it where it's just a booklet on its own and see how it goes. I was going to do it for me anyway. Laminated the front, laminated the back. Um, it does come in two sizes, if you look back in the video. And you can have it personalised with whatever name you want on the front. Um, I've got curb sparkles on mine because that's me. Um, the one that I did for Sam has got Kitten Up Kitten on it because it's for Kitten Up Kitten and she's a YouTuber. If it's for my friend up the road, if she wants one, it'll more than likely just be her name. You know, you can have anything you want on there. So you want to give yourself a special name, you can have that on there. But yeah, I've done them. If I sell a few, I sell a few. I wanted to do them for myself anyway. The the um, index cards being laminated, that I was going to do that. And I just thought, why not show them off and see if anybody else is interested. Now, I've just looked at the time. And... It is gone 11 o'clock. Don't you have fun? Isn't it fun while time fly when you're having fun, as they say? Now, I'm hopefully going to finish 
this letter. I'm now absolutely shattered. I wasn't shattered before. It's all this chatting. <laughs> it's, me mouth makes me tired. But what I am going to do is I am going to finish off this video so that I can go to bed. Get some painkillers for me on and go to bed. So I will finish this rest of this section in the morning. I'll do it offline or off video. But once again, guys, all of the new subscribers, all the likes and the comments, I appreciate it so, so much. Once again, big shout out to Kit Sam over at Kitten Up Kitten um, for promoting my items. Um, yeah, and just, I can't thank her enough. I've had lots of new subscribers. So I am overwhelmed. I didn't think I'd get 10 subscribers. And now I've got over 50. So the aim now is to get 100 because now I'm getting greedy. <laughs> so spread the word. And if you like my, this video, give us a thumbs up. If you hit on the little, if you hit the subscribe button and then hit on the little bell icon, you'll hear a ting every time I go live. You can now see that I'm here that I'm getting tired because I'm starting to me words kind of get mixed up when I get tired. Um, so yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support, all your likes, all your comments. You will never understand what it means to me. So before I get all sloppy, so sloppy, all blah, 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 put my teeth back in, all soppy. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all soon for the kitten up of the heaven and earth. So for now, guys, I'm going to go to bed, get some sleep before these kids like to wake me up at seven o'clock in the morning. And they don't just want to wake up and be quiet, they want to be loud. So, with that, I will speak to you all soon. Take care, my darlings, and goodbye.